Today I will show you how to make this crazy shake transition. Yo, it's Povikas here and let's begin. All right guys, so here I have a bunch of clips of Yeet just messing around from one of his music videos and we can instantly hop on and make this effect. So the first thing we need to do is make an adjustment layer by pressing Ctrl Alt Y. On this adjustment layer, we will be adding all of the effects. So the first effect I'll add is going to be S Dissolve Shape. Now for this tutorial, you do need the Sapphire plugin. As the name suggests, as the solve shape requires the Sapphire plugin. And this is pretty much my favorite shake effect in After Effects. I like to make the dissolve percentage to 37% but the 37% needs to be in the transition point between two clips. So this is the first clip and this is the second clip. So it transitions right on this point. As you can see, we can actually mark it with a marker. We can actually use the star key to mark it. Uh, if you want, or you can just press here to mark it if you want it to be clear where the transition point is. And what we can do is we can just keyframe the dissolve percentage at 37% right on this point. And we can press U and we will see our keyframe that we just made. Now, 37% I think is the sweet spot for this. If you make it a little bit higher, it's actually going to start getting a little darker because as the dissolve shake is kind of like a, also like a flicker shake. So I'm just going to go back to 37%. And if you want to make the amplitude like way higher, you can like obviously just make it higher. But I don't know if it's going to look the best. And you can make the amplitude if you think it's too much. You can make it to a bit lower. But but I think having the amplitude at 3 is amazing. So now we can go like 10 frames backwards or how many frames you want backwards to start the shake. So I'm going to go 10 frames backwards. So I think it's going to be like 505 for me. And I'm going to make this to solve percentage to zero percent so it's going to start like this but obviously that doesn't look great so we can actually go from this point to 10 more frames forward so i'm gonna go maybe one two three four well i don't know maybe 10 frames forward is somewhere right here and i'm gonna make the solve percentage to zero so the shake actually ends so now we have the shake like this but that is a little bit too heavy as you can see like i don't think that's that smooth so what we can do is we can select all of the keyframes press f9 and go to the graph editor now the graph editor you can make a bunch of different ways like one way you could make this is you can make the shake have a really big hit at the endings i sometimes actually like to use it like this it's going to have like a super tiny shake in my opinion i wouldn't recommend it that much right now right now i'm just gonna make it have a bit of a bigger impact so that's why i'm gonna take this keyframe and this keyframe i like to drag a little bit like this point this out a bit backwards like this and let's press on here and make this go up as well a little bit so this shake is going to last for a bit longer and this i'll extend backwards like that so this is how it looks right now that is looking really really good i think this is the sweet spot for the shake and now we can exit out the graph but i do want to make it look a bit cooler so i'm also going to add an effect called minimax and this effect has been becoming way more popular recently as you might have seen in edits and i'll show you what this effect does so i'm going to make the radius at the transition point to zero but i'm going to go one frame before and here i'm going to make the radius something like 83 and as you can see it's going to have like this blurry effect but i'm going to go to direction and i'll just make it to just horizontal as you can see it, it does these kind of lines like look before and after this effect has been really popular in recent edits. And now let's go one frame back. And here, let's make the radius maybe like 19, just like way lower. And let's go back again and make the radius here to zero. And this is how it looks right now. That looks really, really nice. I just think it has a really nice touch to this. And to actually sell this effect and to make it look really, really good, and especially for edits and music videos, we can press Ctrl to Y and we can cut up the adjustment layer if you want by pressing Ctrl Shift D and delete this part. And I'm going to go to animation presets, user presets. And for this, I'll use some of my own made presets from my ultimate impact bundle. So from the ultimate impact bundle, I'm going to go to impact presets V2. And I'll drag and drop flash. I really, really like this effect. And now we instantly get this absolutely crazy look in literally seconds. I absolutely love having these crazy drag and drop presets to use whatever I want. You know, I can just drag and drop them. And I think they work the best for these type of videos, for these like shake effects, for transitions, for, for a bunch of use case scenarios. And yeah, so that was the flash presets. But what we can do is we can actually name our shake layer to just shake. And we can press Ctrl D to duplicate it. And I want to show you what you can do on other clips. So we can drag this effect on top of this transition between this clip and this clip. So right now it looks like this, which does look really, really cool. But we want to add something on top of here. So I'm going to press Ctrl Y 
And in the Ultimate Impact Bundle, I also include my first Impact Presets version, which has the super popular music video distortion flashes and just shakes. So here I'm gonna drag and drop an insane chroma distortion. And now look how it's going to look. It's gonna give this cool little chroma effect. You can actually duplicate it and have even more impact. And the Ultimate Impact Bundle provides you with over 50 plus impact effects. So you'll pretty much never run out of effects to ever use in your music videos or edits again. So on this, I'm actually going to show you a super banger effect. I'm going to add this effect called Pop. I have to admit, this is one of the most fire effects in the whole bundle. Just, just just look how it looks. I mean, absolutely amazing. I, okay, and again, we can just press Ctrl D on the shake layer and drag it on top of the last clip, which is just Yeet smoking on the plane. So over here, we can also press Ctrl to Y. And here I'm just going to go back to Impact Presets from my Ultimate Impact Bundle. And here I'm just going to drag and drop the Distortion Impact, which is also another Chroma Distortion look. As you can see, it's amazing. And here we go, guys. We have made this absolutely crazy sequence. Very quickly, we used as the soft shape. And I also used a bunch of my Ultimate Impact Bundle presets, which I just absolutely love that you can just drag and drop and have a quick result like this. And since you've made it this far to the video, I have to let you know that if you use code POVICAS at the checkout, you will be able to save $5 off on the Ultimate Impact Bundle. But anyways, guys, that's about it for the video. If you have any questions, then please let me know. But anyways, it was fun. Have a fun and productive day. See ya.